Hello the kids that is high, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with the first episode of City Skylines, the Xbox One edition, because that came out recently and I'd been waiting for an opportunity just to show how bad I am at making cities. And here we are. Uh, <laughs> I have been interested to death when it comes to city making sims since uh, the first sim city. <laughs> and I was bad at that and I'm still pretty bad. <laughs> Which is why I went down to the sim level eventually at some point because I figured that should be easier and it kind of was. But... Now that we have this sort of thing available, now I get to play this all I want, and uh, I realize there's only so many times you can rebrand a uh, series without it getting stale really damn fast, so I decided that I'm going to, if I do actually do the recordings with the fan who wanted to play against me, uh, and I honestly wanted to play against someone <laughs> a little bit, um, if I do that, it'll be as an extra series that'll be uploaded when I can get it edited out, probably every other day. Um, we'll probably get it recorded in one little uh, streak there as much as we can, and uh, we'll just go from there. <laughs> but that's only if we manage to get it done, and uh, timing is usually not great on my side, uh, so there's that. <laughs> anyway... With that out of the way, let's uh, let's get a new city going. We'll do the Two Rivers map. Uh, unlimited money. That's that's cheatsy doodling. I I wanna I wanna do it on my own terms and own failures <laughs> without you know a way to cheat out of it. Uh, well, there's kind of some ways to cheat out of it, but not a lot. Uh, <laughs> I have to uh, do loans for that, and that's kind of not cheating because you have to pay that back. Okay, make your industrial areas connect directly to the highway to allow trucks to move fast and easy to under other cities. That's one I haven't done. <laughs> I should do that more. Uh, and at least it gets a base going for the city. That's, that's a good thing. Although I, I kind of also don't like having the... Uh, well, having the pollution get that close to the road but that's just me all right let's start by building some roads and zoning the areas next to them buildings will spawn on the zoned areas and you will unlock new city services and buildings as your city grows for help press r it will provide you with uh, press the right stick rather i should say that uh <laughs> it will provide you with information regarding the menu or view you have open or the item you have selected well i can't fucking talk anymore you can view detailed information about your city at any time by holding Y to open the radial info menu and selecting an info menu with left stick. Alrighty. That is pretty good, and that that idea that they came up with act was actually a good one. But I want to do a thicker road than just the two-lane road. I want to do a four-lane. At least if I'm going to be doing that down here. Uh distance too short. Maybe if I just do it like this and get the road started. There we go. Uh, I need to bulldoze out, don't I? Damn it. Uh, dicks. Uh, refund. There we go. It's not an immediate refund that I like, but hey, it's fine. Alright, um, let's get it a little further this way. Ah, that'll work. That'll work fine. That's not what I wanted. I wanted this so I could go upwards this way. Okay. And there we go. Now they cross over. And it works. Ha <laughs> ha. Beautiful. Ish. It kind of looks disgusting. A little bit. A little bit. Anyway. Uh, now that I have that sorted. Oh, I should stop time so it's easier for me to get the city moving the way I want it to. Uh, okay. Now let's get the residential zoning. Let's do what the uh, game said and do industrial for this area here. That'll be good. There we go. Get those. I have it put in for fill. I have it set up for the fill option, but I can always change that to, I think, yeah, brush and then select uh, the squares I want. 
Anyway. There we go. That'll work for the industrial area. I think that will be fine and dandy. And, oh, that's... That's not the straight. I wanted it to be... Okay. Okay, whoop. Ba, ba, da, da, da. I wanted it straight, you whore. Come on. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Uh, let's put it at an even spot. Uh, this is not far enough away for me to be comfortable about the pollution. Okay, let's do 4,000. That'll be fine. I, I didn't want that. Shit. Okay. And oh, papa. Oh, whoa. That was weird. <laughs> that was not how I wanted it to be done. There we go. And cross over. Make the traffic a little easier. Um. Shit. I didn't. I should have figured out which markings I could have done to have roads cross over. Uh. Yeah, that'll be fine. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Um, cross over there. That'll be fine. And let's cross over here and have this as the dividing mark before the pollution starts to uh, seep into the residential and commercial area. That that should be fine. That should be just fine. All right. Uh, now I should do some more zoning, huh? Shouldn't I? Yeah, I think I should. Um, let's have some... Jeez, it's hard to see the green in the grass. Uh, it would be easier if I did select, wouldn't it? Okay. Jesus, it's hard to see the green. Um, maybe if I start here. Uh, do it that side, and then I'll do the other side. That'll work. That'll make sense, right? No, nope, nope, that wasn't the starting spot I wanted. There we go. And done. There we go. Residential far enough away from the pollution. And let's get some commercial going uh, right here. Yeah, why not? Uh, I want to get on the last square. So that way I can spread it out from here. And there. That works. Ish. Kinda. Okay, let's get the stuff moving. Let's get it moving in a direction that is forward, so that way I know what I'm doing. Alright. And I'll eventually make this a timber sort of uh, town, but that'll be in the future for sure. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. I should probably put in some things like water and electricity. That'd be a good idea, wouldn't it? Yeah, I'm going I'm to try and make this a clean area here try and make it very clean. Okay, the river's going down that way, so the freshest water would be about here. There we are. Perfect. And then sewage, which eventually has to be done. We all know it has to go out somewhere, and further down river, where it'll just filter into, well, out of our place, and that's all we need to worry about, is right there. Okay. And we gotta make sure we have this connected in some way. So, um, put that over here. There we go. And then put this over here ish. There we go. And then have it go straight down the way. So we can make sure we cover all the area that is currently zoned. Perfect. Fundava. Okay. Uh, let's do electricity next. That's going to be the bitch. <laughs> that's going to be the bitch-ass bitch. That's what that's going to be. Okay. Uh, so there's specific spots that will produce more electricity. And this seems to be around the spot. Uh, so I'll have this pretty close. Keep in mind that wind turbines power output depends on wind velocity. You can see strong winds as dark blue areas on the map and the estimated power output next to the wind turbine when placing it, which I'm seeing right there. The estimated production is about 8 megawatts, which is still pretty damn good. Uh, it's not as great as, you know, doing a coal power plant directly in this area, but at the same time, that causes a lot of pollution and that's what I kind of want to avoid with this city. Because I am a liberal. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's put this here. Fuck it. I'll put this one next to it. Because we're going to need several to 
to create enough power to make this worthwhile. So, three should do it, I think. Alright, three should do it just fine. And we have power for this area. And we'll need to cut the power from here all the way to here. So that way, the sewage plant has something. Oops, that's not what I wanted. I wanted another power line to go from here to, well, about here. There we go. That should maybe work. And, uh, duh. That, that was a better idea in my head. <laughs> okay, um, that should work here, right? It's not immediately in the way of zoned areas. I don't want it there. I want it here. Okay. Um, let's add a little extra here. To have it loop around. Oh, God. This is probably looking bad to everyone who's a professional in this genre. I know. I know. It looks bad. Believe me, I'm well aware I am bad at this game. I only just fucking started doing this sort of thing. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, professional city builders, help me. <laughs> okay. Alright, well, that's taken care of, and we have 8,000. Water pumping stations have been constructed. Fresh water. Hashtag Mayor Rocks. I don't know about that, James Dixon. You're going to be saying something else rather soon. Congratulations, the city's first, first power plant has been constructed. Hashtag juiced up. Juiced up. There we go. <laughs> I hate those hashtags. Alright. Green energy. What an excellent choice. Heather Graham, you're... You know what's good. <laughs> okay. Can we get people in to actually fucking buy this stuff, please? Ah, there's a house being built. Nice. Alright. Um. Oh. There was a thing. Uh, economy. I needed to focus on that. I did not want the taxes that high up. Jesus. Okay. Just 12 and... 13, there we go, that's fine, uh, cut down the budget, because we do not need to spend all that money on things that are not even being used yet, so down we go, perfect, alright, and that should do it, should save me some money loss for the next while, alright, now we just watch and let our sil city, silly dub a boo I'm a silly motherfucker, <laughs> watch our city be built. Slow and steady. Ah, the residential areas. It's weird, usually it starts at the uh, industrial areas. But, uh, there's definitely a high demand for residential. I'm just looking at the bars there. Oh, now it's starting to slow down. Starting to lower down a bit. Oh, yeah. It, it'll eventually pop up with little icons like, We need water! We need electricity! And then it's they realize, Oh, we already have it. Good! So, uh, no more to complain about. Man, we're still losing money by the fucking second. That's a lot of cash we're hemorrhaging here. Jesus! Uh, starting a city is hard. <laughs> Okay, re eventually the residential output will... Well, I mean, the taxes from the residential will eventually outpace the costs. Eventually. Uh, I should probably up that. I didn't want that. I wanted this up to 11. There we go. So it's an even incremental increase to commercial and then industrial. Because that is a good idea in my opinion. I'm not going to tax the fuck out of these people. At least not yet. <laughs> not until they're rich. And then I will do it. But until then, it's going to be fine. Alright. Man, it's doing it slowly. I wish... The only thing I do not... Uh, I do not appreciate about this game is that there's no fast-forward option. Which I know would be useful, but at the same time, it would be easy to lose track of, and then things are fucked up and then you're screaming oh god why oh we have 14 people yay we added 14 people through all these houses 
Yay! Beautiful. Alright, I'll need to keep an eye on where I can branch out from. I think I could do it from here just fine. Yeah, I could branch out from this little road here, go out here, and then out into this area. I could branch out like that, no problem. But right now, I need to focus on the simple area first. Simple, small area, so that way I can take care of this, and then we can move on once we're gathering enough money to uh, expanding it outwards. All right. And... Oh, it's demand for resident, uh, residential is going about to half, but uh, we're getting some demand for commercial and industrial, which is right there, so I don't know why they're not doing anything about it. Maybe they're waiting on the land to be able to be moved a bit, because I, I do realize this is a bit of an incline going down that way, so that might be goofing up a little bit of the construction plans. That looks good. Looks good. And they're still getting their stuff set up. It looks pretty damn good. I think. Apparently the demand is not high enough because they still aren't building. So I have no idea why they're not building. Usually they've built up at least one thing on those spots by now. It's a little odd. I did zone them, right? <laughs> Yeah, I, did, I zoned them. Yeah, I, I did it. I did it. Okay. So I'm so I'm so confused. What what's going on? What's the what's the hold up here? Okay, those can't be. This little segment here can't be uh, zoned, but that's fine. I'll just use that as a marker to zone the rest of it. This way. There we go. That should work. Oh, I didn't realize I could zone this for what good it'll do. <laughs> Just fuck it. We might as well. Just to have even spots filled up. Why not? Hey! Now they're building something. Something industrial. Uh, they still haven't done anything commercial yet. I'm a little... There it is! Right when I bitch, it fixes its damn self. Always. <laughs> Alright, now we're actually getting somewhere. New measures taken to save the rainforest. Plant a tree campaigns underway on popular websites. Hashtag plant a tree. What was that, Jeremy Graham? Yeah. Any relation to Heather Graham that was uh, being happy for me putting the wind turbines in. They, they do look damn good. I gotta say. They look damn good. And eventually I'll need to put in more <laughs> because power output will be a problem soon all right and uh, it's easier to buy more than it is to increase the budget all right we're doing pretty damn good thus far the money we're hemorrhaging has dropped by about uh, 320 there we go. 330 now. <laughs> Alright, now we're getting some money in. Perfect. That's ah, beautiful. And I can also, if I want to, inspect places. Uh, let's inspect this. It's uh, under construction. They're not happy, but that's, that's usually how it is when it's under construction. No one's happy around it. Okay, come on. Let's close out so I can look at the other ones. Operating normally. They're happy. They're happy. Because their building's built. And no one has to hear annoying fucking drilling and hammering and all the horrifying shit that is usually associated with construction. And they're still not happy. Not operating. Why are you not operating? Well, you just got built up, so I mean, I guess you gotta get the staff people in. There we go. Operating normally. Yay! You can rename districts, buildings, cars, citizens, and other objects by selecting the rename button. Oh, boy. My immature mind <laughs> shall be let loose upon the city. <laughs> oh, I'm an idiot. Okay. <laughs> uh, as long as I'm in the inspector window, I guess I can do that. But I kind of don't want to. Okay, these guys are uneducated, but that makes sense, considering there's no schools I've built in yet. I will eventually, but 
right now we're kind of sitting on a not needed territory. Especially because I'm not making money. At least not yet. But it's dropped by uh, another hundred, so... Hey, eventually we're going to be making money. <laughs> oh, another uh, 40 bucks. Not bad. Not bad. Beautiful. The more gets built in, the more problems I will eventually have. What the? How, what? This little spot is being... What? Why? I didn't expect that. Da Fook. <laughs> okay, well, I mean... Hey. I'm not gonna complain. It's a box factory, okay. And... This is Ready to Wear Limited. <laughs> okay. That's the name. Alright. We'll just have to wait and... Ooh. Now we're down to hemorrhaging 200. Oh... 161. Oh, we are making more money as time goes on. And I'm loving it. 111. 111. Some nerds will appreciate. Mainly me. <laughs> 61. Ah. Uh -huh. Ah. Uh -huh. 25. What am I doing? <laughs> And 10. Yeah, we're making money. Finally. Jesus. All right. <laughs> it took long enough. All right. And we're going to be progressively making more money as time goes on, which is good. Oh, boy. We've hit the nighttime. Oh, no. Which means I need to back out <laughs> because budget changes in the nighttime. <laughs> oh, no. I got to change this down to 55. That'll be fine. Because I still need lights. I still need lights. Uh, we'll turn this down to about 55 as well. Yeah, that'll be fine. Because right now we would be hemorrhaging money in that department. Especially as it's becoming nighttime. Because the sun's going down. As you can just barely see. That's saved. Yay. And we got some other cities elsewhere. There's that big one over there. Whatever that is. But right now we're focusing on this one. It's, it's more of a little hamlet, if anything. It's less a city, more a hamlet. But still, it is pretty damn cool. And it's all working out in my favor. And I, I, I honestly love doing the uh, four-lane roads here because it makes sense in my opinion. It makes sense to have the heavy traffic areas on the way out and back in. There we go. Just so the people who live here have the little two-lane roads, because there's not going to be that much traffic coming through here. At least not too much. There we go. We're bringing in 229. That's beautiful. 236. Hey. That's all fine and dandy with me. All right, so we've made the city a somewhat success, or at least close enough. Oh, 238. Oh, boy. It's slowing down. The money. The money we're raking in is slowing down. <laughs> no. Oh, it's fine. As long as we're not losing money, which I'll have to keep an eye on. Okay, we're at 235. It's, it's starting to dip a little bit, but here's hoping it should be fine. It seems like it's staying pretty solid at 235. Alrighty. I can live with that. Oh, now it's going back up again. <laughs> Alrighty. I'm going to end the episode here for right now because we finally got our city moving and in, in a positive direction. So uh, we'll be keeping an eye on it, of course, and uh, working on it to make sure that it stays as well as it's going to be. Uh, probably should get a road in place in case the uh, <laughs> in case the ability to make it eventually becomes impossible to do there we go perfect ah you're not happy that's fine uh, just to have that there in case you know you know 
da, da, da. I can't fucking get the word out. <laughs> in case I eventually lose the ability to put the road in there the way I want to, I just might as well get it guided out ahead of time. I won't zone those areas just yet. Not until I get the uh, shit moving. Anyway, I'll end this episode for now. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together and how we can build a city better than what I'm doing because I seriously think I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> and I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and only Stray Cat. Playing games and building up a city from scratch and having it relatively useful and profitable, I guess, for you.